In this video, we're going to find the scalar projection of B onto A. This is also called the component of B along A. Our vectors are A, who is the vector whose components are negative 5 and 12, and B, who is the vector whose components are 4 and 6. Let's work through this solution. So the scalar projection of B onto A, also known as the component of B along A, is equal to A dot B, and it's divided by the magnitude of A. Okay, so again, this is called the scalar projection of B onto A, or the component of B along A, and it's equal to A dot B over the magnitude of A. So this is equal to, so a dot b, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and replace the a and the b with the actual vectors. So it's negative five comma 12, that's our a, and then dot, and then our b is four comma six. This is over magnitude of a, so negative five comma 12. So the component, of B along A, or the scalar projection of B onto A is equal to, so A dot B, to compute the dot product, you can multiply the corresponding uh, components, then add. So negative five times four, and then plus 12 times six. And this is being divided by and then here on the bottom, we take the magnitude. So we take the square root, and then you square each component and add. So it's negative five squared plus, and then 12 squared. This is equal to negative five times four is negative 20. And then 12 times six, well, it's gonna be 72. Right, because six times 10 is 60, six times two is 12, yep, 72. Over square root of negative five squared is 25, and then 12 squared is 144. Is equal to negative 20 plus 72 is 52. Over, and then we have the square root of 169. This is equal to 52. The square root of 169 is 13. Oh, this is really cool. 52 over 13 is four. So the answer is just four. Really nice. Hopefully this video has taught you how to compute the projection of one vector onto another. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.